Hello and welcome to this video on a small tip to see your game arena from another angle while your player sees the game arena from another angle. Like here in display 1 which is rendered by main camera which is the camera of my players. I see what my player sees. A rotation in my axis. But as a developer, I also need to see what the game arena looks like because I'm creating the arena from the code and I want to see that my code is working correctly. So here it works as expected and I see that view from my second camera in the game scene which is just above of the game arena and looks directly at the game arena and brings me that view that you see in the right tab of game scene. But here you can see some difference between two windows. One is rendered by display 2, another renders display 1. And these displays are targeted by my cameras in the scene. Main camera targets display 1 and my additional second camera targets display 2. I use the additional camera so that I can see my game arena while my player scene is different. This is a very simple project but you may developing a walking simulator, more story based, more complicated array it could be an open space or a closed space and you can just set how your camera looks at the arena, looks at environment by moving it. In my case this is a game arena, I call it an arena not a game environment so I continue to set arena but this camera is for you to see what you're developing from another point of view in a stable way. When I say I want to see it a little bit more closer, I go and copy the current transform values of my additional camera, close it down and I just go and paste component values and the next time I run the project, I will see the camera in that angle as you can see from here. Now I want to show you a little quick demo on how you can add your cameras to a scene and have it target another display and open that display very quickly. Right click on the hierarchy and choose camera. Now we have one more camera in my scene but the problem is my camera comes at default with targeting the display one. I don't want this. There are ways to have your cameras target to the same display but render differently, render different proportions etc by, by changing the values in the Viport React or depth and I am a fan of Viport React camera coexistence so if you are interested in Viport React and using multiple cameras in the same scene in the same view let me know in the comments down below I will probably do a video about it okay so going back to our topic I edit the camera it targets to display one at the default but I have eight displays and two are currently in use so I can just go and choose another one from the drop down menu. We have 6 options. So I am choosing display 5. And now I am adding a new game scene that will target the display 5 which is the view of my new display camera. Let's have it a background so that we can know which one is the which one with the new camera. So this is the new camera. I say play. And now I will set how my new camera will look to game arena. Here my camera is only this way. Uh, but I want my camera to look at my arena from up above just like with my first additional camera. So I will be rotating it from its x axis 90 degrees. And here now it looks directly at the scene this time. Maybe I can do it like this and leave it like that. But maybe me, I just want to move it up a little bit. So we can see the full of it. And this way it sees the arena 30 degree rotated to the right. And this is how my new camera sees the arena. So this is as easy as like that. Now I need to set this transform. The editor is not playing so that will be safe. Copying transform values of new camera. Closing it down. And while I'm at the new camera I will be pasting the new component values. And now they are set and when I play it I will see the 30 day rotation of what I see in my first camera. And yes, yeah, it is here. So this is how you can add your new display cameras, new spectator cameras maybe to your projects. While I was searching target display to make a video on it, I did a little search and get to the documentation. Here it tells about the properties of the camera and here is target display. So it says uh, defines which external device to render to between 1 and 8. So external device calls some questions on me, like what kind of external devices. And turns out I think it is about multi-monitor game 
and development. So I know that there are games that divides what you see into multiple monitors. This may be about that or using multiple monitors in gameplay. I don't know, but I am interested. I want to create experimentations about that, but drowning in the project, so I can't start it now. If uh, you use target display other than this, this video's focus, please let me know what you use target display for. Because an interesting topic, so let us know your experience going back to our project. Yes, I I have my additional camera, I have my yellow created camera, and I have my player's controller camera. So we created a camera in this video, and now you can create your external camera so that you can see the game arena, however angle you like to see at the end of this video, I hope. If there was a point not clear, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for new videos come. That's it for now, I hope to see you in the next explorations. Bye-bye.